Hotel on this very happy and special occasion for Edward and Deborah. My name's Pat Court and I'll be taking the ceremony today and my colleague Judy Shorthouse will be entering the details of this marriage into the marriage register. This place in which you are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. Is your full name Edward Terence Mulholland? And is your full name Deborah Angela Gaskins? Edward and Deborah are here today to be married and we're all here to witness their marriage, share in their happiness and make this a very memorable day for them. If anyone here knows of any legal reason why this marriage should not take place, they should declare it now. <coughs> First can I ask who gives the bride's hand in marriage? I do. Thank you. Would everyone except the bride and groom take a seat please? <coughs> Before you both joined in marriage, I have to remind you of the solemn and the lasting character of the vows you are about to make to each other. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of one man with one woman, voluntarily entered into for life, to the exclusion of all others. Now, at the start of the ceremony, I'm going to ask you each to declare that you do not know of any legal reason why you should not be married to each other. So I'm going to ask you that question. <coughs> Edward, I'm going to ask you that question first. Are you, Edward Terence Mulholland, free lawfully to marry Deborah Angela Gaskin? No. Are you, Deborah Angela Gaskin, free lawfully to marry Edward Terence Mulholland? Now, Edward and Deborah have chosen a reading. Uh, do you wish to sit here? Yeah, hey, yeah. Right, the reading is entitled The Art of Marriage. A good marriage must be created. It is a relationship based on love, respect, and determination on the part of both husband and wife. In marriage, the little things are the important things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once each day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together and facing the world. It is forming the circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. The purpose of marriage is to enable you to make a formal commitment to each other, to care for and support each other through everything that life brings to you. It is to accept each of the strengths and weaknesses and to continue to grow and learn together. It is a promise from each of you to always treat one another with respect and affection 
and to never forget that your marriage is a continuing celebration of the love that you have today. Marriage must be entered into freely, voluntarily and with full and unreserved consent of you both. Therefore, do you, Edward, take Deborah to be your lawful wedded wife? And do you, Deborah, take Edward to be your lawful wedded husband? Edward and Deborah, you declared yourselves free and willing to marry. I'm going to ask you now to make the formal contract of marriage and your promise <coughs> to each other. So would you like to just turn the face on and just say, so you can say the words to each other. And if you're in the I, Edward Terence Mulholland, take you, Deborah Angela Gaskin, to be my wedded wife. I will honour, cherish, comfort and support you Cherish. And support. <laughs> with patience, understanding and humour. More than this, I will love you with all of my heart forever. Same for you. I, Deborah <coughs> Angela Gaskin. I, Deborah Angela Gaskin. Take you, Edward Terence Mulholland. Take you, Edward <coughs> Terence Mulholland. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I promise that I will respect you as an individual. I promise I will respect you as an individual. Support you through difficult times. Support you through difficult times. Rejoice with you through happy times. Rejoice with you through happy times. Be loyal to you always. Be loyal to you always. <coughs> and above all. And above all. Love you as my husband and friend. Love you as my husband and friend. So we've come now to the exchange of rings. So if I could ask Sean and Jodie to present the rings, please. <coughs> traditional and ancient way of sealing the love and commitment you have for each other. It is the unbroken circle which symbolises an ending and everlasting love and is the outward sign of the lifelong promises you make to each other today. And then just say these words to him. I give you this ring in the presence of our family and friends as a symbol of our marriage. Wear it with happiness and pride now and always. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring in the presence of our family and friends. In the presence of our family and friends. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. Wear it with happiness and pride. Wear it with happiness and pride. Now and always. Now and always. Edward and Deborah, you both made declarations required by law. In the presence of all the witnesses here today, may you always love, honour <coughs> and cherish one another and live rich and full lives together. It's my very great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Enough, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I said. Edward, Teddy Edwards. <laughs> 30 years. Yeah. yeah, you told me when I was cleaning that car of yours in 1978 that you'd marry her. Where's his car? Where's his car? He's still driving. <laughs> 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 <laughs>